First thing we're going to do is import the audio that has already been transferred to the computer. If I'd used this computer to actually do the original recording, it would already be on site. So in Audacity, again, we're using a Macintosh here. Go to the File menu, and you'll see the Import function. Go over to Import Audio. It's going to open to the area where I have saved the original interview. Double-clicked on it, and it's importing now. It imported pretty quickly. You can see that it was writing the on-demand waveform calculations. Uh, I came down here to show you. But along the bottom of the screen in this latest version, you'll uh, see what's going on. Now, the particular projects that I'm working on are really voice-oriented. We have an opening, a musical, inter a musical introduction, a musical close, but music's not the main part of it. And I wanted to do some, a few things to sort of compress the file size to make it easier to listen to. So I'm going to change the project rate to 22050, 22050, and that is the rate at which the project will be saved, will be created. So once I have it in here, before I do any, any more work, I'm going to save the project, because I like to save. It will do some automatic, and what it's doing, it lets me know I'm saving it as an Audacity project, not as an audio project, and I will, um, I'll figure structure here, I will do, um, move it over to audio files, and this is the SAL 43, Spirit and Life is the podcast, this is episode 43, the interview, and I'm going to just stick with that, that's what I've named the original file. So go over here to save, which is a little bit out of our screen, I just saw, and da -da -da, I will copy the selected audio into the project. and everything is safe.